Hello everyone and welcome back to acting. This week what we are going to do is continue working with substitution. Last class we talked about how substitution can be used as a way to connect a bridge between your character's experience and yours, especially in scenarios where you don't quite understand that life experience or what your character's going through. Now it's a way for you to create a bridge that you can build off of. But it can also be a way for you to open up scenes to completely new scenarios and really have a lot of fun with it. How this is going to help you within your acting process is sometimes the choices you make aren't what the director wants. And as a director, sometimes your actors are performing a scene in a certain way that's working, but you want a little something else with it. And so you can use substitution as a way of communicating to your actors and having them try or play out a scene to see if you can open up some more notes. For you as an actor, it's a way for you to help understand and interpret a director's note and be able to use it and transform it into an action. Sometimes directors walk up and they go, can you be funnier? Well, that's a terrible note. But what you can do is go, all right, I'm going to substitute this experience. And if you're able to do that, you can change your scene, still stay true to the scene. You're still saying the same words, but you're approaching the scene in a different way. And hopefully that can give the director or your audience what they want. But we need to practice that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a contentless scene. One of the ones that we worked with earlier, and you're going to pick either person A or person B, and you're going to memorize those lines. Your partner is going to memorize the other person's lines. And you guys are going to create the given circumstances of that world, a super objective, an action, and you're going to run the scene. Then what you're going to do is pick one of the following different scenarios, and I want you to substitute your experience and your character's experience with this so you can see how it feels to open it up and change things. Once you've done that, then you're going to drop that and pick a new scenario to substitute within the scene. You're still going to run the scene within the same world, right? Your given circumstances are not going to change. But the way you approach that scene is going to change, and it's going to change the dynamics of that scene. We want you to be able to experience what that feels like so that if you feel stuck within the scene work that you're going to do later, you can always have this as a tool to use when you need it. All right, everyone. Once you're done, what I want you to do is upload your experience, tell us about your experience, and I, I cannot wait to hear what this is like for you. All right, everyone. Enjoy this exercise, and I'll see you soon.